So let's say you're in a junkyard and you need to test the valves on an engine to see if they're good. You wouldn't have compressed air or electricity to be able to do a compression test or a leak down test. What we have a method you can use is just this little hose here. It screws into the cylinder and it doesn't take very long. Let me show you. Now we can go ahead and take off the valve cover. It's just a few bolts. They're normally not too hard to get off. Now that we have this piece off, we can see the camshaft lobes. And what we need to do is make sure that these, or whatever cylinder you're gonna check first, the lobes are at their highest position. And you can take a, uh, I just have a piece of cloth over the gear with this vice grip wrench here that has the, the piece of chain and I can move it until these aren't pushing the valves down. So we know the valves are gonna be sealing. Then we can go ahead and thread this in. So with these camshaft lobes up, it's the springs that's holding these valves up. And when you blow in here, you should not be able to blow through. Right now, it should be hard to blow through since those valves are sealed. So if I try to blow through here, I can easily blow through. There's no resistance. So that definitely means we have bad valves. So if it's at 35% leakage, you would be able to blow through it a little bit. And that's still in the passable zone. You would be able to blow through it just a little bit. But if it's at 10%, you would not be able to blow through it at all. But right now, I can blow through it with no resistance. It should be really hard to blow through it, if any. It should basically be like you're on the compression stroke and you're building compression. It shouldn't just be flowing. So if we use the dipstick just kind of as a feeler, we can feel the top of the piston. We know we're at the top of the compression stroke, so we should definitely be able to blow in there and feel it build pressure, but we can't. And we also know that it's a top dead center because both of the camshaft lobes are up at their highest, which means that it's at top dead center. And also because of these camshaft lobes that are both at the top, that means the valves should be sealing. It's on the compression stroke and we should be able to build pressure. So this is a giveaway that we definitely need to pull this head off and we'll have to put new valves in, seat them, but we're gonna go ahead and test the other three cylinders. Actually, because the timing belt has snapped and the engine is no longer in time, because these lobes are up, that doesn't mean that it's on top dead center or compression stroke. It's just that the valves are closed. We still should be able to build pressure but the engine is no longer in time. So now we're gonna move it until the next cylinder has both cams up, and it looks like cylinder number four has both cams up, so we're gonna go ahead and test that. So we'll go ahead and screw in the tube here and see if we can build compression. So if I try on this one, I can just barely blow through it. That might be just barely acceptable on the gauge, but I don't like that. I don't think the valves are super bent, but I can still blow through it. So now, if I turn this, we got cylinder number three next in line to test. Just something to note with this hose, this came with the leak down test, so I can blow right through it no problem, unlike the compression tester, which has a valve here at the bottom which would not let me do that. It's basically a one-way valve and that's how it holds compression. So I'll go ahead and screw this in. Now when I try this one, I mean, I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure in there and I can barely feel it hiss out. So that's what we want it to feel like. So now we'll go ahead and test the next one. I just moved the lobes. And really, if it's, if it's, if it's in really good condition, you won't be able to blow through there at all. I can still blow through there, but there's more resistance. Yep. So if you're in a situation where you don't have compressed air or electricity and you can't do a compression test or a leak down test, this is a good method just to get an idea of what condition the head is in, see if your valves are bent or if they're good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.